Hey everyone, Sarah Wiles back for this Calls for Confetti's YouTube channel. And I am going to be playing with a couple different things here. I am showing you I have got the Ho 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 layering stencil and die set. I'm actually only going to use the dies. Um, and then I'm also using the Autumn Artesian Metal Craft dies. And I cut out all of those greenery. Anytime it comes to greenery, um, especially like this because it shows those gorgeous flowers and all the gorgeous leaves. You'll see some up close pictures. The leaves have all the veins and details in them and I just love it. Um, and so I cut a bunch of those out. I automatically think of wreaths or layering when I see something like that. And then this is, I've got the retro strips uh, layering stencil and the add-on layering stencil set. And so what I'm doing is I grab some uh, black soot distress oxide from my stash and I'm going to stencil on some stripes here this way They're straight right across. I don't have to tape anything off I'm just using my grip mat to hold the stencil down and pull it off and then move it where I want it um, So that's what I'm doing here. Excuse my sniffling. I'm sorry. We're having a change of weather and my sinuses are killing me um now here I'm going to place the thinner stripe because I didn't want just those thick stripes there. And so what I did is I placed one of the thin stripes in between the two thick ones and then I just kind of filled them in. Not even realizing when I was doing it that some of them were over black lines already. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It still works. Um, I also went ahead and grabbed some Distress Mica Stain from my stash. Um, and this is Empty Tomb that I'm splattering all over it. Um, I have picked that up, cleaned up my mess, and grabbed out my uh, grip mat again. And then I went ahead and I think I am using, is this, this isn't mode lawn, a rustic wilderness on the darker ones. And I'm just going down the center, like for the whole thing here. I'm going to just go ahead and place a ton of them on there of the dark ones. And I'm just going to ink up the center of them just to add some color and some dimension. Um... And you can see it in the final pictures when, you know, it's done how it looks. It does dry back quite a bit, which I'm fine with. And then here I'm going to go ahead and place the light colored ones. And this is mowed lawn. Um, and you can notice it a bit more. I think next time I'll do a heavier ink on it. Um, but I really love how it brings out the veins and the leaves and stuff like that. It's gorgeous. Um, I went ahead and put that to the side and grabbed my... Um, ground espresso I hadn't grabbed it yet and then another smaller blending brush and I'm putting the brown on the the branchy parts of the <laughs> the berries if that makes sense anyways I'm going through and doing that on each and every one of these and kind of moving them off to the side as I go um I just wanted a little bit of brown in there it doesn't really show much but it does look darker which I like just some difference and variation between the berries and the stems. Um, I went ahead and grabbed my card base and I'm going to add some adhesive on the back of this and tape it down to my card base. I always pop it on its side when I do this. It just seems easier for me um, and I just line it up and put it together and it works. Uh, this is a circle I had cut out of some it's white glitter cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue around the edge and start placing these leaves around it. So this will be the center point of my card. I thought that, hey, this is perfect. It's a wreath and I don't have to remove it because it's pretty and sparkly. And I used the same glitter card stock for the ho ho ho. So I was like, hey, I'll just do it this way. It's easy. Um, and so what I did is I just kind of glued it down. I let the tops, uh, the last leaves not glued down because I wanted to be able to tuck things. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and start layering, um, a few of the berries in. I don't use but three of them on here and I'm okay with that. It's a great pop of red between that and the ho 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 here in a minute. It's as much red as I needed on this card. So I am actually sniffing, snipping, not sniffing, um, snipping the bottom uh, leaves off these lighter colored ones and tucking them in. And I'm going to continue doing that, adding a few here and there around it. And then I'm going to go back to the darker ones and snip the bottom ones off of those and tuck some more into. I really wanted it to look full and pretty. So that's what I'm doing here. 
I also knew that I wanted to tuck some things in here and there in just a minute. So I'm checking it on the front of my card. And now I'm going to pull out the ho-ho-ho. And I cut it in red and the glitter cardstock so that I could have a shadow of the red behind it. It doesn't look like much now, but in person it looks so much better. Um, in the pictures you'll see where the red shows up a bit more. But I'm going ahead and matching them up with their correct pieces and gluing them together with the shadow a little bit. I'm putting it off and down into the right a little bit um, so you do see that red behind it. And then I'm just going to kind of look at it and see what I think. I'm overlapping them a little bit and just kind of placing them haphazardly around the card but I am tucking this one I don't tuck I leave it on top I am going to grab something and stick on top of it so that it holds down better this one I tuck down behind a leaf and I pop this on top of it a little bit and I put some more stuff on top of that and I'm going to pop this one down here at the bottom and I almost thought hey that's it I'm going to be done with this you know I'm going to glue this down and I just do like a little sw swivel into the center of it. I am, and I was like, mm, I'm going to leave this as it is. And then I'm like, no, I grab the glossy accents that I have and I'm going over the berries. And that's what I'm doing right here. It does blow a couple bubbles in some of them. So here in a second, you'll see me grab a needle and I'm going to pop those little bubbles so that they don't dry that way. And then I'm going to grab these gorgeous gold beads. They're flat backs from the shop. Um, they're linked below as well. And I'm going to place a couple here and there around the um, card. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I use nine. Um... And I place some outside of the wreath and then I place some in the wreath as well. Um, but I love this, just the little pop of gold. It's so pretty. I love these little flat backs. Um, I need to get a new tip for my, my uh, little precision thing there because it doesn't want to pick things up. I don't know why. Maybe I got too much glue on it. Either way, that finished this card for me. I love the way this turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these dies. They make creating so easy. I really hope that you enjoy this. Make sure to go check out the This Calls for Confetti website. Grab all the gorgeous things and have a great day. Bye.